This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS application. Get 30% off on being first 200 sign-ups. Get the link from description. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Educate WordPress. On this channel we talk everything about WordPress. And today we are going to see how you can edit this breadcrumb on your WooCommerce website and in other websites also. So to do that you can go to your home plugin and add new. Type in breadcrumb and here there are two plugins that are useful for editing breadcrumbs. One is breadcrumb navxt for normal sites where, uh, which have multi-level posts and WooCommerce breadcrumbs for editing WooCommerce website. So uh, since we are building a WooCommerce website, we'll go with WooCommerce breadcrumbs. Click on activate. Now, here you will see your WooCommerce breadcrumbs. Either you can go to settings through here. Or you can go to your settings and you will see WC breadcrumbs here. So click on it. Now you can enable or disable the breadcrumb by clicking on this. So if I click on it and then save changes. So now I am able to disable the breadcrumbs. So if you want, if you do not want breadcrumbs in your site which shows the location of your current page, you can uncheck the box simply and disable the breadcrumbs. The other way is quite hectic because you have to go through the coding part, but this is the simple way to remove breadcrumbs. So I'll enable it. Click on save changes. Now you can change the separator. I can change it to arrow or colon. You can change the wrapper before. So this is where the breadcrumbs will appear. And this is what uh, breadcrumbs will be wrapped after. You can enter the HTML tag. And you can change the home text for whatever you type in here will be displayed instead of your home. So I'll go with store. This is your home URL. So I'll hit on save changes. Now you can see my separator has been changed and my home is also changed to stores but the location will still remain the same which is my home page. So this is how you can add and edit a WooCommerce breadcrumb. Now for the other breadcrumb we'll go to add new and type in breadcrumb. And this time we will install and activate breadcrumbs navxt. So 
so now we will go to its settings and it has more customizable options than WooCommerce breadcrumbs but it it cannot be used for WooCommerce websites but for other websites like blog or if you have built a WooCommerce website without using WooCommerce templates so it can be used and there are two ways to include it in your site one is to just install the plugin and it will include it itself and the other way is to go to breadcrumb navex home page and go to installation and include this file this code to your header.php file in your theme file so it will include the breadcrumbs and you can change its settings in your general settings also so here you can link current items page breadcrumbs the, the these settings are divided into four types that are general post type taxonomies and miscellaneous whatever you edit in here you can you should hit on save changes after it and you can change it separator unlike WooCommerce breadcrumbs the separator has to be in HTML format so there is one difference in it you cannot enter direct separator and when you enter a separator do not forget to add a space before the separator and after the separator So this is how you can add or edit a breadcrumb if you do not have in your website you can add it using breadcrumb nav xp and if you are using a word uh, woocommerce website you can edit it using woocommerce breadcrumbs thank you for watching hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to educate wordpress